For the first time ever, a breakthrough study revealed that Epstein-Barr virus likely causes multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a relatively rare chronic disease of the central nervous system. Celebrity figures like Christina Applegate, Montel Williams, and Selma Blair have all been diagnosed with this disease. The exact underlying cause of MS is unknown, but what we have understood for some time is that something, somewhere, triggers an autoimmune response that results in the destruction of the central nervous system's protective myelin sheaths. Now, Epstein-Barr virus, or EBV, which infects around 95% of adults, has been considered a potent suspect of MS. But proving the hypothesis has been a challenge, until now. So what exactly did researchers do and find? Well, in collaboration with the United States military over the course of 20 years, a team of researchers conducted a study on over 10 million racially diverse young adults mostly under the age of 20 years, who were on active duty between 1993 and 2013. Since active duty personnel have serum blood tests done when they first begin their military service, and then again every two years after that, leftover serum from those tests are stored. So researchers were able to test those serum samples for EBV to first determine an initial negative or positive status, and then ultimately, what the relationship is between EBV and the onset of MS in these personnel. Researchers identified 801 individuals who were diagnosed with MS during their period of service. Researchers then matched each MS case with two randomly selected individuals that did not have MS, but were the same age, sex, race, ethnicity, branch of military service, and so on and so forth. In total, they found a control sample of 1,566 people. In the end, the team of researchers determined that individuals infected with EBV were 32 times more likely to develop MS than those who were uninfected. This is interesting. Other viruses, like the cytomegalovirus, which is a distant cousin of EBV, didn't significantly increase a person's risk of developing MS. What's more, Serum levels of neurofilament light chain, sometimes referred to as NFL, increased only after EBV infection. Why is this important? NFL is a biomarker that reflects the nerve degeneration that's typical for MS diagnosis. The research also measured the average time from the initial EBV positive sample to MS onset, which was about five years. While we know that more research will need to be completed before definitively declaring that EBV causes MS, this new revelation is a step in the right direction. Because yes, while there isn't any true preventative measure or cure for EBV today, findings like this could support future efforts to develop those protective interventions, which potentially could prevent MS from occurring.